Would you ever ride a motorbike with no handlebars? What will human-machine interfaces actually be like in the future? Apparently, this is the question that Yamaha were attempting to answer when they came up with Motoroid 2. In rather plainer engineering terms it looks to advance the idea of the original Motoroid from 2017, that of the self-balancing electric motorbike. When Yamaha first revealed the Motoroid electric motorcycle concept roughly six years ago, it looked like a contraption out of a science fiction movie. Now that the company has unveiled a new, refined Yamaha Motoroid 2, the wild self-balancing electric motorcycle looks like it could be one small, weird step closer to reality. The Yamaha Motoroid 2 takes significant liberties with its design, eschewing much of the mechanics of traditional motorcycles. In the case of the Motoroid 2, this means a chassis that allows the rear half to tilt, the front thereby, steering itself, hence the handlebarless design. Wind could power the world 100 times over, but only 5% of the world's electricity comes from wind power. Mekani aimed to enable more people around the world to have access to clean, affordable wind power by developing Energy Kites, an airborne wind energy technology that used a wing tethered to a ground station to efficiently harness energy from the wind. The kite takes off perpendicular to the wind and climbs to a height of 1 feet, at which point the kite begins looping, without consuming any energy. Propellers on the wing act like rotors on a helicopter taking off and lift the kite off the ground station. The air moving through the rotors on the wing forces them to rotate, which drives a generator, producing energy that is sent down a specially engineered tether to the ground. The kite's path is managed by the flight computer, which guides the kite even in turbulent winds and safely returns it to the ground station. A Dutch designer, who is somewhat obsessed with creating garment that reads minds, has crafted a futuristic, alien-looking white dress covered in what looks like eyeballs. Called Screen Dress, it's designed to help the wearer express how their cognitive load changes throughout the day. The 3D printed screen dress was designed using PTC's OnShape software and manufactured using MJF technology by HP. The dress features a variety of screens that change depending on real-time monitoring of brain waves. The idea behind its design was to merge technology and fashion in a way that enables the wearer to directly influence the dress. In this case, their brain waves impact the round LCD panels. Fashion is a form of expression, it allows us to articulate who we are or how we're feeling. But what if it could help communicate how much we have on our minds? The screen dress features a neck piece that has six round displays on it that look like little eyes, with an iris and a pupil. The neck piece is connected to a headband that the user wears, which tracks brain waves. The headband, which is made by the technology firm G. This groundbreaking device defies gravity with the use of magnetic levitation technology, allowing riders to glide effortlessly above the ground. See the revolutionary hoverboard in action at the world's first hover park, as Lexus demonstrates the desire to create enjoyment out of motion. Lexus hoverboard unveiled in a leap towards the future of transportation. Lexus has unveiled its highly anticipated hoverboard. At first glance, the hoverboard appears to be straight out of a science fiction movie. It features a sleek monochromatic design with the Lexus logo prominently displayed. The device is made from a combination of lightweight materials, including carbon fiber and bamboo, which give it both strength and flexibility. The device is equipped with a series of magnets that interact with a specially designed skate park to create a magnetic field, allowing the hoverboard to levitate. The slide hoverboard is currently undergoing further development and testing, and its release date has yet to be confirmed. It represents a step towards a world where hoverboards are no longer confined to the realm of science fiction, but become a tangible reality. The roads and sidewalks in the world cities are shared by pedestrians, cars and bicycles, and more recently new micromobility means of transportation such as e-scooters. As the number of e-scooters rapidly grows, in many cities so does the need to provide safety systems for those using them. This first e-scooter test is a good example of the commitment of Autolift to save more lives, exploring new solutions for one of the new ways of mobility. In the unfortunate event where a collision occurs between an e-scooter and a vehicle, the tested airbag solution will reduce the collision force to the head and other parts of the body. The tested concept airbag for e-scooters will complement the Pedestrian Protection Airbag, PPA, previously introduced by Autolift. 
Whereas the airbag for e-scooters is mounted on the e-scooter, the PPA is mounted on a vehicle and deploys along the pillar windshield area. This makes it the only airbag to deploy on the outside of a vehicle. Working together, the two airbags offer increased protection for drivers of e-scooters, specifically in the case of a head-to-head -head collision with a vehicle. Dojin City is a smart healthcare city floating on the sea that integrates food environment, architecture, data, energy, and ocean resource with a focus on healthcare. Dojin City is 158 kilometers in diameter and approximately 4 kilometers in circumference. Dojin City is an ambitious project that calls for the creation of a maritime city to withstand rising tides. Meant to house up to 10,000 residents and 30,000 daytime visitors, it is broken into three major components. The first is a habitable ring that creates a bay and protects the city from tsunamis. The ring is tiered, with food and infrastructure sunk below the habitable zones. Within the ring, floating architecture will allow for the reconfiguration of the space according to urban functions. Below sea level sits a high-tech data center cooled by the ocean. The center will house the city's operating system, as well as much of its medical services. Designed as a healthcare city, a DNA bank, and medical research center, as well as surgical and testing facilities, it will all be housed underwater. This will keep energy costs down, allowing for an efficient use of the space. At the very heart of Switzerland, a world record holding technical innovation awaits. The steepest funicular railway in the world leads from Schwiz up to the car-free mountain village of Stuz. The journey there is an experience in itself, with passengers being taken up to a natural paradise 1,300 meters up. The technical marvel will delight guests of all ages. The Stuzbahn reaches a gradient of 47 degrees. It is the steepest funicular railway in the world. What's really fascinating is that the spherical cabins adapt to the gradient perfectly. This enables passengers to stay upright at all times. The journey from Schwiz to Stuz takes between 4 and 7 minutes. In the process, the Stuzbahn covers a total ascent of around 744 meters and travels over two bridges and through three tunnels. After 1,740 meters, the funicular reaches the upper station in the middle of the mountain village. A level compensation system, developed by Garaventa, ensures that the futuristic-looking cylindrical cars are automatically adjusted to suit the incline at any one time, in the case of the Stu's funicular, up to 110%. This means that the compartment floors remain horizontal throughout the trip. Norwegian company MSG Aviation, which specializes in aircraft de-icing, announced that it is building the world's largest de-icing robot at Avenir Oslo Airport. After several years of testing and developments, MSG Aviation will now start building the robot, which it says will be ready to use next year. The proposed robot will implement MSG Aviation's proprietary artificial intelligence software and will be capable of removing snow and ice from single-aisle and twin-aisle aircraft, cleaning fuselage and engines, and conducting technical inspections. Additionally, MSG Aviation says the robot is capable of cleaning everything from large commercial aircraft to smaller private jets, as well as military aircraft. You've probably used a fingerprint scanner or facial recognition to unlock your smartphone. You already know that your voice and your retinas can be used to positively identify you and give you access to your various devices, and possibly to secure government or corporate facilities. Amazon is taking cashless payments to another level. In a new rollout, the tech giant is giving customers another contactless way to pay for groceries, with their palms. The system, called Amazon One, may herald a new way of identifying yourself and paying for things that could change the way people shop, enter concerts, use public transportation, and many other things. Much like your iPhone may scan and recognize your face, Amazon One captures the minute characteristics of your palm and creates a palm signature. Amazon said palm scanning is more private and secure than other biometric alternatives. A palm is the safest biometric to use because you cannot identify a person by it, Amazon said.
picture a swarm of bees producing honey. Now picture a swarm of robots producing a building material. Swarm bots use very simple robots in large numbers to build a design without central guidance. These robots have limited physical abilities and programming, yet can build amazing things. They produce tubes made of fiberglass that are an energy-efficient, sustainable solution for buildings. The system having been thought of meticulously, the trajectory and curving of each robot is planned by an algorithm to avoid any crash or collision between the structures. Considering those robots are working in swarms, the possibilities of creating various structures that interlace and revolve around one another are very considerable, a solution that could help achieve bigger architectural forms. The EO Smart Connecting Car 2 is a revolutionary vehicle that combines the convenience of a compact car with the flexibility of a versatile transporter. Developed by a team of innovative engineers, this futuristic car offers a unique solution for urban mobility challenges. Its compact size allows for easy maneuverability in crowded city streets, while its electric drivetrain makes it an environmentally friendly choice. In terms of safety, the EO Smart Connecting Car 2 has been engineered with the utmost care. It is equipped with advanced safety systems, including collision avoidance technology, lane departure warnings, and adaptive cruise control. Overall, the EO Smart Connecting Car 2 is a game-changer in the world of urban transportation. Its innovative design, flexibility, eco-friendliness, and advanced connectivity features make it a smart choice for those seeking a convenient and efficient way to navigate the busy streets of today's metropolises.